Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be going over how to install the SSH service in a Docker container specifically for Ubuntu. And please stay tuned and uh, it, it will be a very short video. Okay, so if most of you actually follow my previous video, uh, I created a Ubuntu web service container and uh, I created a um, batch file to run the container. So I'm going to go ahead and modify that batch file for you to see what I've done. And as you can see here, um, I'm stopping the web server Ubuntu web server container if it is actually running. I remove its name. Then I will go ahead and run it and exporting I'm sorry, exposing port um, 8080 which is the Apache um, web service port and system D is being um, executed and then the next command which is starts the um, bash shell so right now we need to expose port uh, 22 which is our SSH port so in order to to do so we just need to add dash P uh, for port and I'm gonna map port 222 uh, to port 22 Okay, and one other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and add um, this command here right before the uh, dash dit is privilege privilege equal to true and what this do, does it, it actually uh, going to start the service automatically so let's save this and I'll show you what it does. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize um, our run web service dot batch file. Then let's execute it from our command line. And let's wait for a moment for it to start the container. okay so now we're in the bash shell and we can type in um, service status that's all and you can see that Apache 2 dbus these guys have has already started so in order to install SSH we do app get install SSH and type Y to continue all completed okay so for most of you who don't understand what SSH is it is basically a secure shell and uh, since we already install SSH we want to see if the service has already started so type uh, service status all and SSH has not started yet you see the minus sign here so to start it just type um, service uh, SSH start and let's check again and SSH has started 
Okay, since um, SSH service has started, we need to create a password for root in order to access the um, container. So to do this, we type password D and then root, and we enter the new password. Okay, it's successfully updated. Since we updated the password information to our container, it's not automatically safe. So we need to do a commit. So in, we need to type in docker ps to show our um, process that's being run. So type in docker um, commit the container ID and then um, the name of our image so in this case it's going to be Ubuntu web service and then press enter okay information has updated and save okay so I'm gonna go ahead and um, exit our container although it's exit we know that the container uh, is still running in the background so if we run the batch file again uh, it's gonna stop the service and I'm sorry it's gonna stop the container then um, it's gonna um, restart the container again so let's wait for a few minutes okay so it has started and we can type in docker I'm sorry we, we can type in service status all and you can see that SSH has started okay so let's test our SSH command from a command prompt window so type SSH one so root at the IP address and the port number that we expose and it asks you to continue with this fingerprint you, and you type in yes and type in the password and appear to not taking the password Okay, let's control C. So SSH seems like it's not working. Um, it appears that maybe the permissions um, is not set properly for root. So we need to do a vim, etc. SSH, SSD, config, and let's review our file here and let's look for permit uh, root login so um, let's change this line here to permit uh, root access so we need to do permit root login yes Sorry, I misspelled it here. So it should be permit login root login yes. Let's save the file and then do a service SSH restart. Okay, and then from our um, DOS prompt window, let's try again with the original password that we set for root. and it took it okay so now you could uh, log in uh, and then see everything uh, from uh, using SSH remotely okay so thank you very much for um, watching this uh, short 
and great video. Um, I hope that you enjoy the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And please support me by pressing like and subscribe. And thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.